What is it guys, Tyre once again, and I'm coming at you guys with another content of Cooking and Kingdom. I know it's been a while, I've actually finished moving, and now with the setup that I have currently without having all my stuff delivered, I still wanted to make a quick video today about a landmark that you should definitely be building currently right now inside of the game. And that landmark is going to be the newest landmark that has been added into the game, and that is going to be the Chocolate Altar of the Fallen. So if you guys remember with the Dark Cacao as well as all forgot to update this new landmark has been added into the game and it is going to be a bit expensive and it is going to be a total of eight thousand crystals but however you guys do want to be building this landmark without a doubt and i am going to be telling you guys in this video exactly why you should be building this landmark so if you guys do want to look closely at the landmark, you are going to be going to this uh, bottom left hand corner. You guys can't see it right now because of my face. But if you guys do look at the bottom left corner, there is a sugar gnome that, that will say build. If you click on it, you're going to be seeing the new landmark series or the uh, decor set, which is going to be the kingdom of the unwavering. So if you click on that right here, you will be seeing the new landmark that says chocolate altar of the fallen. So if you guys look closely right over here, it is going to say... All cookies crit damage increase plus a certain percentage so at level 1 it is going to be at 1% and all the way to level 20 you are going to be getting uh, plus 1 which is going to be maxed out at plus 20 so why do you want to be upgrading as well as building this landmark once you do reach that castle level 5 all right so that's the level that you need to be in order for you to build this landmark but why do you need to build it and why should you build it it's because of the fact that if you guys do look closely uh someone like twizzly gummy is the only one in particular who has a specific skill that is going to increase your crit damage by a certain percentage all right so the crit damage here inside of this game, it is not double the actual amount of damage that you're supposed to deal. It is actually only 50% extra, so it's supposed to be a 150% of actual attack. And with the Twizzly Gummies skill, it is actually going to be plus 400% or 400% of whatever that attack is. Alright, so that is the only one. Okay, that has an actual skill that is going to increase the crit damage. And before any of the updates where crit damage increase was added into the game, crit percentage was not too much of a uh, actual substat or even a stat that you wanted to look forward to. However, with the increase of several different things that have been added into the game, especially the Sugar Gnome Lavatory, if you guys look right over here, I'm actually researching it right now. Uh, it is going to be this right here. Increase the crit damage bonus of all cookies and at level 10 it is going to increase it by 20% All right, and on top of the 150 then that means now at level 10 it is going to be 170 and Increase it with this new landmark that means you are going to be dealing 190% of extra damage once your cookies do crit and that means that this new set all right, or I guess not a new set, but new combination of using juicy apple jelly as well as searing raspberry is going to be a thing. And a lot of the high level or the uh, rankers inside of the game right now are actually using uh, juicy apple jelly within their kill boss battles in order to deal more damage. And I'll be sharing with you guys some of the uh, actual builds as well as steps once I do find more details on that. But that is the reason why you want to be building this new landmark right now guys so if you guys remember you guys have different landmarks that are going to increase your crit percentage like this one uh the haunted house is going to increase your crit percentage by eight percent of course you have your juicy apple jelly as well as now including all of that you are going to be dealing extra damage as well so 190 percent is almost double the actual amount of damage that they're supposed to deal so it is definitely going to be a thing that you really 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 want to focus on and that is why right now you are going to have to focus on crit resist as well for your actual tank cookies because now crit damage is going to be a big thing of course is this going to affect every single person no it's not because a lot of the newer players as well as the lower ranks are not going to be having issues with crit damage a lot of the you know 
the arena battles that they're going to face is not going to be focused on uh, teams that are going to be maxed out or they're going to have a maxed out laboratory research. However, if you guys are veterans as well as you guys have spent uh, enough time in this game and you guys are climbing up the ranks in the arena as well as you want to focus a little bit more on the guild boss battle and deal more damage, then this is something that is going to be uh, necessary as well as almost mandatory for you guys to do uh, if you guys are focusing on that competitiveness of this game. So definitely that's the reason why I am going to be currently uh, investing all of my uh, you know resources on this thing and you definitely want to be investing as well as upgrading this technology as well as a landmark so I definitely recommend you guys save up the 8,000 you guys did receive some today from the reset of the cookie alliance which I will be making videos on uh, so you guys definitely want to be spending some of that crystals that you guys got and invest into this new landmark anyways guys I hope you guys found the video helpful and and I hope you guys decide on investing on this new landmark. And if you guys did find it helpful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the like button. And also don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you guys don't miss out on any future Cooking and Kingdom videos as well as live streams that I do on YouTube. Anyways guys, thanks for watching once again and I'll see you guys all next time.